Welcome to Digit Math. Today, we're diving into subtracting two-digit numbers. We've got 10 questions lined up to help you sharpen your subtraction skills. Make sure to subscribe and give this video a like if you find it helpful. Let's get started. 56 minus 37 is... Time to think. In the units column, we have 6 minus 7. Since it's not possible to subtract 7 from 6, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 5. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 4 in the tens column, and turning the units column into 16. Now, we have 16 in the units column. Subtract 7 from 16, which equals 9. In the tens column, we now have 4. Subtract 3 from 4, which equals 1. So the final result is 56 minus 37 equals to 19. Twenty five minus seventeen is time to think. In the units column, we have five minus seven. Since it's not possible to subtract seven from five, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have two. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 1 in the tens column, and turning the units column into 15. Now, we have 15 in the units column. Subtract 7 from 15, which equals 8. In the tens column, we now have 1. Subtract 1 from 2, which equals 0, because we borrowed 1. So the final result is 25 minus 17 equals to 8. 34 minus 28 is time to think. In the units column, we have 4 minus 8. Since it's not possible to subtract 8 from 4, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 3. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 2 in the tens column, and turning the units column into 14. Now, we have 14 in the units column. Subtract 8 from 14, which equals 6. In the tens column, we now have 2. Subtract 2 from 2, which equals 0. So the final result is 34 minus 28 equals to 6. 63 minus 28 is time to think. In the units column, we have 3 minus 8. Since it's not possible to subtract 8 from 3, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 6. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 5 in the tens column, and turning the units column into 13. Now, we have 13 in the units column. Subtract 8 from 13, which equals 5. In the tens column, we now have 5. Subtract 2 from 5, which equals 3. So the final result is 63 minus 28 equals to 35. 64 minus 37 is time to think. First, in the units column, subtract 7 from 4. Since 4 is less than 7, borrow 1 from the tens column. This turns 4 into 14. Now, 14 minus 7 equals 7. Next, in the tens column, after borrowing, you have 5 from the original 6. Subtract 3 from 5, resulting in 2. Thus, the final result is 64 minus 37 equals to 27. 
86 minus 47 is? Time to think. In the units column, we have 6 minus 7. Since it's not possible to subtract 7 from 6, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 8. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 7 in the tens column, and turning the units column into 16. Now, we have 16 in the units column. Subtract 7 from 16, which equals 9. In the tens column, we now have 7. Subtract 4 from 7, which equals 3. So the final result is 86 minus 47 equals to 39. 72 minus 48 is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have 2 minus 8. Since 8 is greater than 2, we need to borrow 1 from the tens, which decreases the tens place from 7 to 6, making the units place 12. Now subtract 8 from 12, which gives us 4 in the units place. In the tens column, we have 6 after borrowing 1 minus 4, which equals 2. So the final result is 72 minus 48 equals 24. Sixty-three minus twenty-nine is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have three minus nine. Since it's not possible to subtract nine from three, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have six. We take one from the tens, leaving five in the tens column, and turning the units column into 13. Now, we have 13 in the units column. Subtract nine from 13, which equals four. In the tens column, we now have five. Subtract two from five, which equals three. So the final result is 63 minus 29 equals to 34. 84 minus 59 is time to think. In the units column, we have four minus nine. Since it's not possible to subtract nine from four, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have eight. We take one from the tens, leaving seven in the tens column and turning the units column into 14. Now we have 14 in the units column. Subtract nine from 14, which equals five. In the tens column, we now have seven. Subtract five from seven, which equals two. So the final result is 84 minus 59 equals 25. 67 minus 59 is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we subtract nine from seven. Since seven is less than nine, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we subtract five from six, which equals one and we turn the seven in the units column into 17 due to borrowing. Now subtract nine from 17, which equals eight. So the final result is 67 minus 59 equals to eight. 10 subtraction questions with two digit numbers. Keep practicing to get even better. If you enjoyed this video, 
Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Digit Math for more fun and learning. See you in the next lesson.